I'm having a hard time processing all the different voices and concerns and outrage and support and celebration while damnation of violence in our culture and in media right now. I mean, it, was it last night or two nights ago? Ronda Rousey beat the crap out of some woman. Now, I think on one hand, how cool that there's this strong, attractive woman that is now a figure and a symbol of what was, you know, a, a masculine trait of ass kicking. But, you know, it's violent. You know, the, the, everything that's, that's boxing, you can argue that it is, you know, a, a beautiful sport of, of uh, tactics and, and athleticism, but it is as gladiator, as, as glorified violence as we've got. And the MMA is, you know, even more so. So as I'm seeing all these people, like, posting videos of this, you know, ass-kicking woman who's pouncing, you know, clips of her just, you know, beating the crap out of people, you know, right next to somebody posting about how sad it is that a hunter killed a lion, right next to something saying, you know, God, we've got all this police brutality, and we have the we have this screwed up sense in our culture of the value of human life and and the, and the the and the and I'm like right next to each other we've got the celebration of violence and the condemnation of violence how can we have a consistent message of trying to make the path towards more peaceful towards less violence towards more harmonic interactions and problem solving. No wonder people are confused and no wonder we have we have road rage while we also on our, on our way to a yoga class, you know? It's like we need to we need to get with the peace program and then practice it and be ass kickers about our peace bringing. I don't know.